Hey guys, this is Tanya. I teach CBSE class 10 max and my sister Tina Lofus will be teaching CBSE class 8 max. Alright, now let's jump into the video. Today we are going to be learning chapter 8, introduction to trigonometry, exercise 8.4, first question. Alright, now let's read the question. So the first question is, express the trigonometric ratios sin a comma secant a tan a in terms of cot a. So here what is the meaning of this word in terms of cot a. So here we have sin a secant a and tan a. No, we have to convert into cot a. Okay, that is the meaning of it. Okay, so first of all let me just write the uh, identities so that it will be help, helpful for you guys. So guys, so the first identity is sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 and then the second identity is tan square a plus 1 is equal to secant square a and the third identity is 1 plus cos square a is equal to cosecant square a. So, these are the identities, okay. So, we have to use these identities and we have to find it, okay. So, first we have uh, sin a, secant a and cot a, sorry, sorry. First we have sin a, secant a and tan a. So, we, has, we have to solve these three values that is sin a, secant a and tan a in terms of cot a. So, first I will take tan a, so tan a. So, do you guys know a formula for tan a? So, there is a formula that is tan a is equal to 1 by cot a. This is a formula, isn't it? So, finally, I got cot a. Then we solved for tan a. Okay. Alright. So, I just converted tan into cot. Okay. So, this is going to be your answer for tan a. Okay. So, now let us find for secant a. Okay. Alright. So, this one I just solved it. And second one secant a. We have to convert into uh, cot a. Okay. So, we have to convert this into cot a. How to do that? So, here we have secant a. So, according to these identities, do we have secant a right over here? Of course, we have secant square a right over here, isn't it? So, we can actually apply this identity. Okay. So, let us uh, apply that identity. So, that is tan square a plus 1 is equal to secant square a. Okay. It does not matter about squares and all. Okay. The only thing we uh, they want is secant a no it should convert into cot a. Okay. So, do not care about the squares and all. all right. So, why because we have to use these identities right. So, it does not matter. All right. So, here when you just check it out we have tan square a. So, I have a formula for tan a that is 1 by cot a. So, since we have square here, here also let us put the square and then plus 1 is equal to secant square a. Okay. All right guys. So, we have like this value isn't it. So, here nothing is there means 1. So, we can actually take LCM. First of all, I will just write it as it is secant square a is equal to uh, 1 plus 1 here cot square a. Okay. So, here nothing is there means 1. Okay. So, when we just take LCM, we will get secant square a is equal to here no, uh, we, are, we are supposed to take LCM. So, when we just take LCM, we will get 1 plus cot square a divided by cot square a. Okay. And since uh, here no, we have secant square a, we do not want value for secant square a, isn't it? We want the value for secant a, we do not want the square. So, to take it off from the square no, I am going to put root secant square a. Okay. So, if we put root here, here also we have to put the root. So, let us put the root. All right. So, cot square a. Okay. So, now let us put the root here as well. Okay. So, here we can actually cancel it. So, now secant a is equal to root 1 plus cot square a divided by cot square a. So, here now uh, it is, uh, so here when you just check it out, secant a is, uh, is equal to 1 plus cot square a 
and divided by cot square a. Of course, the root is also important. So, finally, we changed into cot, isn't it? So, this is our answer for secant a. All right. So, we found the value for tan a. So, that is here it is tan a is equal to 1, 1 divided by cot a. So, we just changed in terms of cot a. And for secant a also, I just uh, changed in the terms of cot a. Okay. So, the only aim uh, here it is, we have to change it into cot a. Okay. All right. So, now uh, the only value here we have is sin a. Okay. So, I will write here. So, we have to change sin a into cot a. Okay. All right. Sin a in terms of cot a. How to do that? Here when you just check it out the, with the formulas, no? I mean identities. Here first we have sin square a plus cos square a. So, here we do not have any relationship with cot a. So, we cannot use it. And here when you just check it out, we had already used this. So, no need. And this one now here we can actually apply it. Okay. So, here when you just check it out, no? we have 1 plus this is t okay not t s yes. all right all right so 1 plus cot square a is equal to cosecant square a okay so we have like this identity so here cosecant square a you know we have a formula in which uh, will get sin a okay so i'm going to use this identity that is 1 plus cot square a is equal to cosecant square a all right. So, I am going to use uh, this identity. Okay. So, here we can write 1 plus cot square a as it is is equal to cosecant square a we can change it into 1 divided by sin square a. This is a formula. Okay. All right. So, now we can do cross multiply. So, when I do cross multiply I will get sin square a is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus cot square a perfect. Here we do not want uh, sin square a. The only value we want is sin a. So, what we can do is we can write sin square a the root is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus cot square a. Okay. So, now we can put root here as well. Why? Because here we put root right. Alright. So, now let us cancel the roots. So, we will get sin a is equal to root uh, here no, uh, of course, uh, here root 1 is, it is going to be 1 only. So, we can actually write 1 divided by root 1 plus cot square a. Okay. So, for 1 it does not matter, okay. the root does not matter. So, we just did it like this. Okay. So, finally, I just changed in, term, uh, in terms of cot, is not it? Here I changed sin a in terms of cot, cot a. So, this is our answer. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like this video, share it to your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any doubt, you can comment me in the comment section. Catch you in the next video. Bye.